Hey, what's up? Vihan here. Speaking from personal experience, it can be hard for anybody pursuing a creative or entrepreneurial path to find the time to create and innovate in the first place. But when we finally do manage to carve out those precious hours, it can get excessively frustrating if those ideas and that flow doesn't come to us instantly. But maybe, like me, you could take a cue or two from someone who has faced this and created a system to overcome it. This is where novelist Anthony Trollope comes in. Over the course of his 39-year writing career, from 1843 to 1882, Anthony Trollope wrote 47 novels, 17 non-fiction books, two plays, and over 20 articles and letters, becoming one of the most successful novelists of the Victorian era. He followed a daily routine that saw him finishing his works at incredible speeds. Oh, and I forgot to mention, Trollope juggled his writing while holding down a full-time job with the civil service in the general post office for the first 20 years after his first publication. So what was this routine that he followed that helped him become so incredibly productive? Well, to start, let me tell you that like most authors, Trollope had writing deadlines set by book publishers. But unlike most authors, he didn't wait until the last minute to deliver his finished manuscript. In fact, he often finished them well in advance. In his autobiography, Trollope explained that every day, for years, he would wake in darkness and write from 5.30 a.m. to 8.30 a.m. with his watch in front of him. His goal was to write 250 words every 15 minutes. If he finished one novel before 8.30, he took out a fresh piece of paper and started the next. The writing session was followed for a long stretch of time by his day job at the post office. His eventual success was a result of sticking to a strict schedule. In fact, he would have his servant wake him up every day at the same time with a cup of coffee to help him get started. It's no secret that this level of consistency is what has been the cornerstone for so many success stories, and Trollope is no exception. It may not always be easy, and you might feel like time isn't on your side when you're trying to pursue your own personal endeavors and attempting to grow them, but in my case, slotting items into my fixed schedule beforehand has really made all the difference. Look. Any form of creativity, particularly writing books, is no ordinary feat. Take it from me, I write my scripts out for these videos and it takes me so much time to just get my head into that space. But one of the main things that kept Trollope going was that he didn't measure his progress on the number of chapters or books that he wrote. Instead, he measured it in 15 minute increments and whatever he could complete within that time frame. The reason that this is so much better is because small measurements of progress help fan the flame of your motivation and keep you going. This is the principle behind so many habit formation techniques. If you haven't checked out my videos on the two minute rule or the elastic habits technique, I'll link that right below the like button for you to check them out. By doing this, Trollope didn't have to wait several months to feel a sense of accomplishment from completing his book or chapter. Instead, every 15 minutes he could check his progress. If he wrote a few hundred words, he could check that 15 minute block off of his list and feel an immediate sense of accomplishment. In my experience, this kind of progress tracking can pretty much be extended to almost anything that you are trying to accomplish, whether it's reading more or working on new skills that you want to master. Setting up a routine in this way has helped my process of finding creativity and inspiration a little better. The small time blocks that I assigned to myself are what help me avoid writer's block when I finally sit down to start writing. It kind of forces me to adhere to a time constraint and refrain from doing things like checking email over and over or staring into space for several minutes. It also helps to be very clear about the reasons why you're pursuing something. Trollope knew that writing for him wasn't just a hobby. He wanted it to become his profession, and so he treated his daily writing practice as he treated his paying job, and stayed diligent in that way. So if you're attempting to be productive with your work, be mindful of the reasons why you're doing it, because that will help you stay driven in the long run. Trollope's morning routine wasn't anything extraordinary. It was simple, straightforward, and consistent. By choosing to work at a steady pace and measuring his progress in small blocks, he was able to sustain his productivity over a long period of time, which ultimately led to his great success as a writer. So with whatever you're doing, the thing that you might just be missing is a well-crafted routine that can help dictate your productivity on a regular basis. Because when we let our structured routine drive our behavior, we stop waiting for inspiration like amateurs do, and instead become professionals who show up and actually get things done. If you like this video, I make a lot of them. Subscribe to the channel for more from me every week, or visit vihanshalaya.com to stay in touch and get a copy of my free productivity cheat sheet.
that's it. Thanks for watching.